and I am outside before six. Oh, that's right. Okay. Look how empty it is. I don't think it's ever been this empty. Look at my hair. I didn't put nothing in it. It's just still blow dry from underneath my wig. This is the only sweater I have in here. I'm gonna put my earphones on so that doesn't matter. So I'm back home and I ordered a bunch of stuff off Amazon to just replace like my pots and my dishes because I keep breaking them and I don't have no full sets. So um, most of it came. I'm waiting on I think two more things that are supposed to be delivered today. So I'm about to wash everything that came. So right now this is these are my measuring cups you guys. Look how cute they are. So they stack like and they have like the measurements in the inside. And they stack like a cute little mason jar. That's so cute. So that's one of the things. I'm trying not to break them. Um, and then it came with the measuring spoons. They look like that too. I'll show you guys once I get everything out the box. So these are the measuring spoons. They look just like the mason jar. And then they also had a mason jar little tray to set the measuring spoons on. Then I got another set of like utensils. These are just spatulas and whisk and big spoons. And they're white and then the handles are wooden. So I'll show you guys once they're in the sink. And then this, I got another whisk. So I got this the wood print because I'm trying to make everything match. And then I got um, a vegetable chopper because onions just keep making me cry. And this one I got in white. The rest of them were like black and silver. But again, I'm trying to make everything Thing matched so I got an all white one next up I got these really cute plates so I thought these were like the bigger plates but they're more of like a saucer but I still love them so so much and I tried to find the bigger ones and they just don't exist um, but yeah I'm keeping those next I got some more coffee slash tea mugs and they came with these cute little spoons so it was a set of four and it came with two different prints so this is what the prints look like then I got a little windy because I was tired of opening everything up already and I got another set or not another set I threw away all of my plastic Tupperware and I got a glass Tupperware set so it's 16 different ones it came with four square ones four rectangle ones and then four circle ones and then this is what everything else looks like in the sink so I washed some of it and then the rest of it I'm just loading into the sink and not into the sink into the uh, dishwasher and mostly I just put the Tupperware in there is it Tupperware the glassware I guess in there and this is what they look like in the different sizes and then I just went ahead and washed the rest of the stuff the next box is what I was really, really excited for and how this whole ordeal really started, honestly, and it is a new set of pans. So my pots and pans, I destroy them, and my mom usually gets them for me every year. She didn't get them for me this year, so I got my own, but they're this really cute cream color, and then they have wood accents. So I thought that these were so cute, and I got these from Walmart, so I have links for everything down below. And then I also got a cute little mortar and pestle because I like to grind up some of my own spices and things like that. So this is really cute. This came from Amazon. So I just continued washing everything and putting everything in place and then I'm also going to go ahead and wash my veggies and my fruit like everything that I got from the grocery store today. The knife set just came. I'm breathing hard because I had to run to the front <laughs> to get it. And I'm glad I did because the whoever dropped it off, I don't know if it was the post office or if it was UPS, FedEx, whatever. They left it in front of my building, like out of the gate. Like anybody could have walked up and grabbed it. Like, I can't believe them. I know it's raining, but y'all could at least put it, like the gate is right there with the mailboxes. You could have just put it on the other side of the door. Um, but it's here. So they all have this. It says hand wash and a dry hand wash only and dry immediately. I'm glad I'm seeing this because I would have for sure put them in a dishwasher, or I would have had them just sitting. So now I know 
I have to wash these immediately. They have the little bee on the knife part too. So cute. Look at the sun. Um, so I'm leaving the gym. It's almost eight o'clock. Um, I don't know why I thought Target opened at like six, seven, and they do not. They open at eight. Um, so I was waiting in the car for them to open the door. So I have to run in and get a few things. I want protein bars and I want to see if this one has Tabitha Brown's like all of her food and stuff. Um, ain't nothing in my hair. It's just blow dry from underneath my wig. Oh, and my edge control. Um, but my mouth feels nasty. I think I like coming to the gym this early. Um, there's like a like a specific window. So I got there at 545. Look at that. Ugh. I got there at 545 on Monday. And it was still a little crowded, like, but you could tell people are finishing up. And then I got there at six o'clock today. Um, and it was a little more empty. It could people could be falling off already. I don't know, but it was a little more empty and like there was more parking spots. So I think I got the like it's like the five o'clock rush and then they cleared out and then I'm in the middle and then there's like the 7:30 rush. Um so yeah but the classroom is empty in there so i don't have to get harassed when i'm like just out in the mirror stretching i can go into the classroom because classes don't start until 8 30 and usually when i'm done it's already a class going one on one but it's no classes because it's so early so i'll be in there by myself and i like that so i'm gonna try to stick with it so what i did is y'all know i don't do alarms i unless i have like a flight i cannot I don't like the way they make me feel. I naturally just wake up early. Um, literally, no matter what time I go to sleep, I wake up early. I might be tired, but I wake up early. Um, but I set an alarm to go to sleep at 1030. That way I have enough time. Um, and it worked. It worked. So I can set an alarm to go to sleep, just not one to wake up. But I think it's open. I see people going to the door. So like she making a tiktok she just put her phone out and she's like walking towards target i'm gonna do the same thing okay now i'm back um the last things that i ordered from oh shit why that's so bad okay <laughs> the last few things this just does not want me to fucking record this um there the last few things that i ordered from amazon for my kitchen tape so i ordered these bowls i don't know why like they looked shallow on the, um on the pictures but i thought they were a little bit deeper but i like them because they're all different i'm still gonna keep them like i feel like they would make good like pasta and like thicker soups but they're all different They're all different prints, so I thought that was super duper cute. And then these glasses. I got super cute. And then the chain with like the straw cleaner. And I think this is for ice, maybe. So it came with two curved straws and then two straight straws. And the cunt, I'm making so much noise. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought that they were cute with these. Honestly, I thought these, I thought it was two prints. I thought it was like two of one and then two of the other, but it was just different juices in the glass. Um, so it's these and these kind of goes, you know? I thought they were all going to be different. I thought it would be really cute if they were all different. Um, but they're not. I'm still keeping them. They have top of the stuff. Um, so I got what I could of that. They didn't have any of the pickles, just like the pickled okras. I got two of those. Um, and then the spreads. It was another spread I didn't get because I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm even going to like all this stuff. Um, but then I got these two. They didn't have the pickled popcorn, but I got the teas. I found this deodorant I want to try because y'all know I love their body wash. Um, and I like the the Hey Humans um, deodorant, but they didn't have any at that Target. So they had this one and it's kind of like the same little paper packaging. 
Um, so I want to try this. And then in the front, they get you every time. So I got these so that I can finally just take that out because look how good this is doing. And like this one, guys, baby's coming, but then all the rest of them are completely dead. So I was going to take them out and propagate them in here. These are $3. So I got some of those. Um, and then these little baskets, haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them yet, but they were cute. So I got two of those. Um, and this is what I went for. This is really what I went for. So I ended up putting this one right here with this in there because I told y'all I didn't like this container anyway. Um, and then I could put my little, what is that? Whipper? Whatever it is in there. Um, and then I put all of my teas in here. So it worked out cute. So I made avocado toast again. And I went a little overboard. I did chorizo, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and then avocado hot sauce and the cherry tomatoes but i don't know how i'm going to pick this thing up and i'll talk about my paper plate you guys remember a while back when i went to europe i never edited that vlog oh my gosh but i went to europe and i did those knotless braids on myself and that was my first time doing knotless braids that was my first time doing individuals like all of that and my mom decided that she wanted some and i got the idea from her because that's how she used to get her hair braided when i was little like i remember her using human hair so i am doing them for her now so we're gonna see how these come out so i started off at my grandma's house and i didn't bring enough hair i thought i had brought enough bundles but i didn't so i only did like half of her head this day and then tomorrow i'm going to finish them off. So here we are the next day at my house and I'm finishing the braids off. These are not the same pants, you guys. I have a bunch of leggings from Naked Wardrobe. I just have like three pairs of white ones. I don't know why I decided to put on another pair of white ones, but if you look close, the band is different at the top than the ones that I had on yesterday. So I am not wearing the same pants, um, but I am finishing these braids off. And I did hers way smaller than I did mine. I didn't even realize it until like I had got halfway through. I was like, oh wow, this is way more than I did in my head because I had did like bigger parts. But yeah, I'm going to finish these off and show you guys how they came out. She also makes me watch the Parkers every time she comes over, y'all. Like, her and my little sister literally know the words to this show. And she puts it on every time she comes over my house. But anytime you see her here, you can guarantee that the Parkers is playing in the background. But I finished them off and now I'm just taking my oil. This is the oil that I always use. It's the little mixture that I made when I gave myself a ball spot. And I use this on my edges when I take my wigs off. So I'm just going through and oiling her scalp. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Lotta Body Mousse and just get the curls to pop and get the braids to be like a little less stiff because I'm not going to dip these. They came out super cute and she really loved them and I'm getting better and better y'all. I was not recording. Um, good morning guys. So I'm getting ready to go to this grocery store um, that sells all of the exotic fruits, all the fruits with the seeds in them, like the watermelons, the grapes, all of that. I'm going with my friend Chris. Y'all see him all the time in my vlogs. Um, so it is nine o'clock right now. We are about to go. Well, I was going to do like full on get ready, but we going early early so um i'm just gonna throw this little outfit on back here and then go and then come back and change so i was supposed to be in the house all day i had no plans on leaving the house today and i mean it's gonna be a fun day because usually when this happens i have a lot of fun um but yeah so i'm going to this grocery store which i've been trying to go to for literally months and then i'm gonna try to go to this fenty event it's at ep and lp the place we always go to um and it's from 11 to 6 p.m., but it's first come, first serve. So I don't know how that's going to work because we just tried to go to a Janelle Monet event that I had to, like, register for through my agency. Like, they sent it to me and everything. We got to the event, y'all. It was crazy outside. It was not organized. It was just, like, people, like, trying to rush the elevator. So we left and we went to eat. Um, so, yeah, I hope it's not like that because we were really looking forward to that. Like, we got really cute and everything. And we got there and it was crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that this would be a little easier. We could just go in and have fun. Um, and if not, we'll probably go to brunch and figure everything out from there. But I'm still rocking these clip-ins from IDN. And I need to get ready right now. So, I'm just putting on sweats and, like, a crop top and some boots and an overcoat jacket. So, we can go because it's a little bit cold outside because it's still early. And then when we come back, I don't know what I'm going to put on. A 
what's a lemon plum? I might get a lemon plum, Korean pear, fragrant pear, Hawaiian papaya. She didn't have the apple. She called it an Asian pear. I mean, that's what they were calling them in Jamaica. I made it back home thing that I got I got the red currants I got some baby bananas a star fruit um, this is fuck I don't remember an apple something an apple pear maybe an apple something it's on the video um some key limes this is a blood orange more baby bananas lychees she let us try these in the store and they were so good like i love lychees but oh, i've never had like a fresh fresh one so good pomegranate fenugreek seeds i'm gonna use these for my hair um dragon fruit there were three different ones this one is the sweetest these are lemon plums Plum lemons. <laughs> Lemon plums. <laughs> there we go. These are lemon plums. My hand ashy. Um, these are pink lemons. This is an apple pear. Chamoy. It looks like like a dragon's egg. I'm really excited for this. This one's not ripe yet. And then this, I think this was the mame. I think this one's not ripe either. He, uh, she told me it tastes like pumpkin pie. You just cut it, put a little bit of cinnamon on it, but it's still it's really dirty and it's still um hard. So this one and this one I have to wait for. But I'm so excited for everything else. I think this, I can't remember what this one was. But it feels like a plum. Like it's kind of squishy. But I'm excited. And Skylar got me a sour sop. So hopefully she brings it. So came back home and got ready. And this is what I ended up putting on. I got these cute little dunks. I forget what they're called. My little sister actually got them from the sneakers app for me. And then I got this cute jumpsuit from a Nair de Bois. And then me and Skylar are going to head to the Fenty event. You depend on my weakness. Satisfying you where I keep bleeding. day today um it is 9 20 exactly and i have a meeting with a new agency at 10 um which i need to rush and get ready for i literally woke up like 8 30. um so i have a meeting at 10 with the agency and then i have a tour of a warehouse i'm finally getting my first warehouse for lovely bees y'all so i have a tour for a warehouse downtown at one um and then my curl cream is finally ready so i need to go all the way to my bank by the airport and get um my balance check so that i can mail that out and then i need to submit my artwork for my label so so much stuff to do today and then i also have to go and drop my orders off at the post office um which is why i did my hair last night so i put on a new wig last night this one is from wild african and i cut it into bangs how i had my real hair the past couple of weeks um because i can't keep straightening my hair i want to but i'm not 
um so yeah i'm about to just wash my face and get ready for this meeting really quick because i think it's like a face meeting so i don't want to just be all bare um so yeah i'm about to wash my face so i'm going in right now with my favorite finally got a new bottle y'all this bottle the last one lasted me like five months like no lie five months using almost twice a day um because you need like half a pump the tiniest amount so i'm about to wash my face with this um and then i've been using desi skin so she was on one of the news channels a couple of weeks ago um and they had a sale on her website like everything was i think 60 percent off so i bought everything the other moisturizer is in my beauty room because that's where i'll be doing my makeup um but the vitamin c serum and the overnight serum like look at my skin right now i have not washed my face this is literally me taking a shower and then getting out the shower but this is with the overnight mask y'all is so freaking good like i literally wake up so hydrated and i have dry ass skin um so this and this i've been using this twice a day um i freaking love it and i've been using the other moisturizer before my makeup because she said you can use it instead of like a primer so i haven't been wearing primer i just been using that moisturizer which is why it's with my wake which is why it's with my makeup um but i love it i love it so much like <sighs> Now I'm going to be spending all of this money on it because it's not that cheap. It's not cheap, but it is worth it. I don't know how I'm about to get this over this. Well, there goes that. I don't need it anyway. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. So shout out to Desi. She's the one that taught me how to do my makeup. Not like personally, but on YouTube. I got these from Ross. I've been looking for them forever because I just didn't want to order on Amazon. And I found them at Ross. The serums, I mean, the overnight mask says that you're just supposed to like wash your face with water in the morning. And like, I guess be good. But I still like to use my face wash. But yeah, they have like no scent or like, it smells like unscented lotion. It has no scent, but it has a scent. So I'm about to go and put on probably just concealer and, eyebrow and eyebrows. I didn't realize how dirty my screen was when I was in the bathroom, but I think it was extremely dirty. So I don't even know how well y'all seen it. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with my stuff if I can find it. Where's my sponge at? Oh, I gotta go with this. So I think I have an idea of what I'm wearing today. I'm like, what do you wear to go look at warehouses? Like, am I supposed to be like business or can I just be cute? Um, I got it wet and it's lifting a little bit. But I, I'm gonna wear this like sweater skirt and then this green sweater top. So hopefully that's like cute enough. Um, oh, and then for this wig, Got To Be Glue came out with a gel that's specifically for wigs. So I used it today and so far it's been holding up good. I mean, I got this side wet just now when I was washing my face. So it's lifting a little bit. Um, but everything else is like, it's on. It's on. I look sleepy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Desi Skin Moisturizer. So I'll go in with this first. It just, everything just feels so good, like. And I broke two of my nails. I press-ons, but they like, the press-on is still on, it just cracked. Do that, and then I'm gonna go in with Fenty 370. What's up, bro? on the hit oh i got bangs i don't gotta do my scars so i'm gonna let that sit for a second and then i've been just liking using the benefit not this this is the brow setter but the brow wax like i don't know where all these eyebrows came from but i have eyebrows now like i used to have ball spots everywhere and i've just been using this 
that's it and then let's sponge like that's it y'all just blend it down and I already look like so much more alive and then mascara this is by milk oh oh I cut it all it's 932 this is one of my favorite mascaras I feel like if I had one of those like the white ones that extend your lashes first and then put this on like I would not need to wear falsies ever and that's all I'm doing Now I can put my clothes on and some chapstick. So this is what I'm thinking. This is a sweater and a little crop from Lola's. And then, not the peach skirt, but this skirt is from J-Lux. Yeah, so then I'll put the other though. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Ignore that. That's something I have to return. Um, and of course, his toys are everywhere but this is what I'm thinking like it's cute it's not like too businessy and then if I need to button here I can to hide my tummy or I could just like pull the skirt up higher um and then I have these little heels that I got from Lola's because I was going to take my big teffy like this do I look like a businesswoman I think it's cute so it is 9.42. I'm about to go open the blinds and stuff inside my living room and cut my computer on because I think it's on Google Meet. I forgot that it's like damn near impossible to walk in this skirt. <laughs> like, I feel like the alien from Mars attack. Why is it on 100? Y'all, I am so pale. I need sun ASAP. Let me show you how to label really quick before I log on. So this is, I use Maestro Label Designer. Um, and this is how I make my labels. So I'm calling it Whipped Curl Cream. And these are like the key ingredients. Okay guys, let's see how this meeting goes. Oh, I seen a smaller one, but I now feel like that's gonna be too small. Yeah. I seen the other one, it was like 500 square feet. Yeah. This one is seven. So seven yeah. Yeah, this one, yeah, the other one doesn't have air conditioning in it. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a closet. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I think this one is, is perfect. It has a little sink. They see mm -hmm. in it. I can put all of my shelves. Yeah, I'll show you the rest of the chair. Okay. If you want. You won't take it. It feels good in here right now because I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I think this is perfect. Any minute. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's Thursday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday. Um, and I have an event today. Uh, I don't really know what it is. My agency just sent it to me and was like, hey, you have an appointment at 11. Um, so it's 10 o'clock right now. It's like 20, 15 minutes away from me. So I'm about to do the same thing I did yesterday, like just a little makeup because I really been loving my skin. Um, so I'm just doing concealer, brows, and mascara. But the agency yesterday, so I had the meeting with the agency yesterday. Um, I'm not going to sign with them. 
So they told me like everything was good. Like she was saying everything that I wanted to hear. And then she got down to like the percentage part. And I literally just had a meeting with YouTube Black Voices. And um, like it was with agents and different things like that on who you should sign with and how you should go about signing and making like basically extra money outside of like AdSense and stuff. And they were like, do not sign with the agency that adds for a contract. Like you should be free to leave whenever you want to because it's supposed to be like mutually beneficial for both of you so like if you're not making money that means they're not making money so you should be able to leave um and they were like it's a two-year contract so automatically i was like nope first of all i would have did it if they were like oh three months or something like that 36 months but they said two years so automatically i was like no and then the youtube black told us like they should not be taking more than 15 percent and she was like, oh, and our fee is, no, she was like, and then our percentage is 33%, but you don't have to worry about anything else. We don't charge any fees or anything. And I'm like, what the fuck? 33%? That's a whole, what? That's literally a third of my money. Like, and she wanted to, and, and she said that it was supposed to be all inclusive, um, like not non-inclusive. I couldn't work with anybody else and I couldn't get any deals outside of myself. So the company that I'm with now, they take, I believe, either 12 or 15 percent. Um, and anything that I make outside of them, like if I make brand deals outside of them, then they're mine. I get 100 percent and they don't touch any of that. Um, but yeah, she said that they take 33 percent and it had to be exclusive to them and anytime i got any type of dms or emails i had to forward it to them like i couldn't do any work outside of them they would still take a 33 percent. i was like oh fuck that hell no so yeah no i'm a no um but yeah i'm going to this event i don't really know what it is i tried to go on their instagram and they're like a pr firm and they had like a bunch of different companies listed on there and i wasn't going to go because it's raining again like raining raining again um but i didn't get to go to the bank yesterday and i got home and seen looked in my back seat and my packages were still back there i didn't go to the post office um so yeah i have to go outside anyway so i was like i'll just stop by and it's appointment only so i'm assuming like it's probably gonna be like 20 30 minutes i'll go in um see what it is and then go about my business for the rest of the day but yeah that's 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 what's happening i could not believe <laughs> when she said 33 percent, y'all i was like bro what that's fit in my in my mind that's 50 percent. you want 50 percent? like and i'm doing all the work no i like i'm still in shock at that 33 percent. like that's crazy that is insane like what the audacity like i can't even believe y'all reached out to me don't what the fuck that's my spill for the day i still got the wig on it's still lifted on this side but we're not worried about that same thing i did yesterday desi skin 370 Fenty, uh, Milk Mascara, and Eyebrow Fluff, Eyebrow Wax. Okay, so, back alive. I kinda, so I have this, these two outfits out right now. Um, both of these tops are from Shein. So I was gonna either do with all black with my rain boots, not the toy, or this. The pants are from Pretty Little Things, Shein, and then these are from Lola's. I think I'm going to go with this one um, and then one of these jackets. But this is the outfit, y'all. I put this jacket on because I liked it better and it went better like to bring the purse in. So, now I'm about to go see what this event is. Okay, I'm sweating, y'all. I went to the little event. It wasn't really an event. It's a showroom. Um, so like a PR showroom with like a bunch of different things and you can go in there and like they do gifting and they do like renting where you can like rent things for like runways or special events like expensive high-end things even bags like Fendi bags Louis Vuitton bags Gucci bags all of that um let me catch my breath it was a Petco across the street so I went in there to see if they had Theodore's vitamins but they didn't so I just got him like a trachea um but yeah they gave me a little gifting bag it's called factory pr and you basically you make an appointment and you go in there and it's a showroom and you get to like see all the stuff that they have and you can get stuff for events or like stuff just to rent and they do gifting um so i didn't record because they had a bunch of stuff that's not out yet that they said you can't take pictures of so i didn't want to accidentally get it in the camera um so 
yeah but it's just uh like an office suite it's pretty big well not like huge but it's like a good size and they have different sections that you go into um so let's see what i got so i got henry rose these are fragrances fragrances who am i fucking bugs bunny fragrances um not bugs buddy elmer foot fucking <laughs> fragrances um and i got to smell a few of them but they gave us so there's two little sample fragrances in here and then they also gave us this is by ourselves it's like a dermatologist skincare brand this is a lip plumper um a little scalp scrubber i like using these in the shower what is this new wash foam free i think this one yeah this is a hair care brand that's like super simple all the ingredients it doesn't foam so this is like a foam free wash they also gave us another ourselves this is a lip conditioner i'm going to use this and then they gave us like a bunch of uh oh it's a sucker in here but they gave us a bunch of other of the per perfume samples that were there and then we also got gifting um so i got this really cute bikini so this is the top and this is the bottom and then i also got a set it's like a really cute linen set that i think i want to take with me to miami so these are linen pants and then like a linen crop top um, so yeah, it was super cute and it stopped raining. So like I'm happy that I went Now I just have to go to the post office and then I have to go all the way by the airport to get um, My check so that I can oh shit. Maybe I should where the fuck my phone go. I'm on it bitch Oh my gosh, I'm not even high y'all um, But yeah, I have to go all the way to the post office not the post office to the airport to my bank to get my check so i can mail it so i should just go there first and then go to the post office because if i go to the post office and then to the bank i'll have to go back to the post office anyway so that doesn't make sense but yeah and the girl that helped me she was super duper nice i was like can i get your instagram so she gave me her information um and then she gave me the information for everything else so that i could come in and you can like rent the bags for like a month she said you get to keep the bags for like a month um and my seatbelt is on you oh, what is happening i'm sweating um so yeah you can rent the bags for up a month and then you can just switch them out like instead of paying five thousand dollars for a chanel bag i can rent it for a month and wear it with the outfit that i want to wear with and then switch that motherfucker out what yes uh so yeah that is that i'm sweating let me cut the apron okay so i got my check um but I still need to go to the post office, to FedEx, and to UPS. But I have to pee so bad that I'm about to go into this Target and use the bathroom because I cannot hold it. I can't hold it until I get home. <laughs> okay, so I looked up and there was a little, one of those drop centers and it had um, FedEx and UPS. So I mailed my check. I'm supposed to get there on Friday and then I dropped off my UPS order so now I just have to go to the post office and drop off those orders and then I need to eat I am fucking hungry um and go back home to my dog guys look what I just came home to good morning guys I'm hella juicy right now um I I'm going to an event today for House of CB, hence this dress hanging up. So they just launched their spring collection and they're having an event in Beverly Hills today from 1 to 5. Um, I think I want to get there around 2 because I still have to walk him. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot of sweats and stuff right now. I've been trying to like clean up and get everything organized. And I wanted to um, take that wig off and wash my hair because it's springtime. And I feel like the dress will look really cute with my natural curls. Um, so... I'm also washing my bedding. So yeah, I wanted to take that wig off. I washed my hair. I didn't deep condition it today because I felt like I was in a rush. And then I realized that I didn't have to be there exactly at one. So I just co-washed it. I put my leave-in in and then my curl cream. That is all that I have in my hair right now. And I wanted it to set because I like to air dry at least for like half the time because I feel like my curls come out better. So I'm air drying right now and I'm going to take him um, and then come back 
Hopefully my hair will be mostly dry. If not, I'll diffuse it the rest of the way, do my makeup, put my dress on, and then head out. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop in and tell y'all what's going on. Got to show you guys the outfit and stuff i just got here um it's not a house like a big old house in beverly hills and i'm waiting on them to come get my car everybody is outside i guess people are leaving already um so they must like do the little events and then walk out because it's a bunch of girls waiting right now um for their cars i guess 